The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building. Jersey in the building. I thump in the building. My guy. Yes, sir. How are you today? I'm all right, bro. I'm chilling. What's going on? I'm good, man. I'm good. It was fu it was funny because I forgot to put the I in the beginning of the freestyle, so I apologize for that. I'm not, I don't know. I just got... I kept saying thump, like, leading up to this, and then I just forgot to put the I. No, it really is thump, but I just go on Instagram. I got the I there, so the I is kind of, like, silent. So, like, it's... <laughs> So the eye really like you know the eye's silent. there, but the eye's not really there sometimes. Yeah, the eye's more for like you know I'm just like you know iMac iTunes. Yeah, yeah so you know like the eye like the new wave like yeah. How, how did you first get your? Uh, how did this name come about for you? Or what's the significance? So it of was it? like my basketball team when I was in high school. They was calling me Thumper, the rabbit from Bambi, and then they just turned it to Thump for short, and I just ran with it like as an artist. Why were you Thumper? Somebody said I look like him or son. I don't see it. It's a little I, rabbit, but that's what they no, call me. No, I know me. the rabbit from Bambi. I yeah. don't see it either. I don't know. Somebody threw that joke, and everybody ran with it and started calling me that. So then everybody was calling me that, and then we just went to thump for short. Like, mm -hmm. that was just how that went down. You got any childhood pictures of, of you on the basketball team? I got a couple. I got some. I, I be throwing some of the stories on Thursdays. A little TBT. I was about to say, like, you got to, like, I feel like you should lean into the thumper thing more, though. Every now and then. Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know how you know what I always that. say? I say if people call you something, you should just embrace the meme sometimes. Yeah. It's like when they be like, oh, Gabe looks like 30 different versions of like Drake, French, Montana, and Nav. I'd be like, I bet. I'll be getting that too, bro. You be getting that? Yeah, bro. It's crazy. My, the comment section would be crazy. What do you be getting a lot? I be getting like, Drake had too much jelly donuts. <laughs> that, that one's wicked. But <laughs> That's the, evil. Then I had like, DJ Khaled and French had a baby. Okay. That one was crazy. <clears throat> Walmart Drake, wicked. It'd be, it'd be disrespectful. But it, it'd be funny. It'd be funny. To I mean, it's cool. Like, it's better than I'm saying, like, oh, he ass. Right. You'd rather say Yeah, I'd like, rather just that. I'd rather them just throw the jokes. Than be like, like, oh, yeah, this music is garbage. Exactly. You know what, no, word, word. what I was going to say was, like, um, <laughs> my boy Corey, he was at, like, some party over the weekend. And he's like, yo, bro, there's mad people in here who look like Gabe. And it was just, I'm like, it was just like, it was like this, this big ass guy with a beard. I'm like, bro. It be like, bro, as, if you like, if you got our skin complexion with a beard, they're gonna say we all look alike. That's why, just how it goes. Why can't motherfuckers just have a beard, bro? I don't. I still don't know to this day, bro. Why they why they do us like that? It's crazy. It's crazy, man. You feel like Drake ruined that for us? <laughs> yeah, him, him and French, him and French. They, they, they I think it all started when they did the video where they both pretended yes. to be Dominican. Yup, the little and Dr. with all the girls. That's where that's where they messed it up for us. And now, what are you? I'm Dominican. I'm Puerto Rican. Okay. It baited us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's over with. Yo, Dominicans and Puerto Ricans can't have nothing now because of French and Drake. <laughs> facts. But you're from Patterson, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah facts. Born from and Patterson, raised in New Jersey. Yep. Born and raised. Yeah. So when did the music first begin for you? So the music began, I would say, like, I mean, it's always been a part of me, but like 2015 was when I took it serious. Mm. Like, you know, playing around how a lot of people I see start. It was just a, like a little game at first, just doing it for the love of the music, of and then the whole school kind of picked it up. And it was like, yo, like you should go in the studio and record that. I used to do it like in a voice memo, was like playing around. Send it to the whole school, everybody bumping my songs off voice memos. And then everybody like, yo, you gotta get in the studio with that and really like make it a song. So that's what I did. I found the first studio, I booked the session with my peoples, and we went and did the song, and that song really started moving. And that's what like got me known in my town. Mm. It was called Ball Like Whoa. Ball like Crazy. Whoa. Word. And then I won't even, but yeah. That, that was the song right there that really got me like that one did like a quarter million on SoundCloud mm -hmm. in like five months. Like that one was moving. That one was crazy. And then the rest was history. And then from there, yeah, I just I just went off of it. And so you how'd know, you first start getting like Freddie Wap's attention? So we had a lot of like mutual friends, like, you know, cause he's from the same town. So we had a lot of mutual people. So I did my first song with him like 2016. Like right when he was like hot mm -hmm. and he was doing like something for the city, like a give back to the city, mm -hmm. back to school concert. And then his manager at the time had told me like to come out and perform in that. So that's how me and him created the relationship. And then I recently did something with him too, right before the whole situation. He got yeah. Yeah, the whole situation. So the song that you did with him was like a year a year ago, right? Yeah, like a year ago. I did one way back, like when he was like first starting, and then I did one like a year ago. Mm, okay, so you guys always kind of kept up that relationship from like the beginning to. Yeah, exactly. That's fire. So was that yeah, the no. song that y'all dropped a year ago? Was that older? or Was that kind of like newer? No, nah, we did that a up? year ago. 
we did it a year ago. It's called On My Grind on YouTube. We did that a year ago, me and him. And we dropped, we did the video, everything. We dropped it. Move, it's moving pretty good too. Right. It's it's funny because like when I first like discovered you, like I saw your fire in the booth, which was fire. Congrats on that, of course. Oh, thank you. Appreciate um, it. And I, when I followed you, because I didn't originally know you were from Patterson, and then like, I saw my boy Chris Patrick followed you, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Nah, Chris Patrick, dope. Jersey fan. I remember seeing his on the radar. He went crazy. Shout out Chris. One of my favorites of all time. Yeah, he's one of the most eight minutes. It was like one of the longest ones that I had. Right, freestyles. I think it was like it's like top four longest ones. He rapped on the heart part five, and he did the whole beat. Yeah, and he went crazy. One take two, he didn't even like Word. Punch, no punch ins, no like yo lay hold on, let me start right there. No, nah, none of that. Crispy snapping. Chris Patrick just went. Word. But I feel like, but it's cool because I like I like the space that Jersey's in right now. I say this every interview with a Jersey artist because I feel like it's so dope, as always, just to bring it up. Cause it's just like there's people like you, then there's people doing the club, doing the drill, doing the battle rap with it's like shotgun shook. Chris yeah. Patrick is as out here doing his thing. Like it's dope. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. You know, I wish we got a little more recognition, but that's it's coming, bro. Yeah, it's coming. It's definitely coming. It's definitely it's coming. coming. I feel like it's kind of hard to ignore like the 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 buzz that Jersey's had over these past couple of months, the past year and a half, two years too, where everything every, artists popping up left and right. Like I think it's, yeah. it's it's hard to ignore now. Nah, facts, facts, facts. We definitely come. We gonna break that door down. Jersey man, shout out everybody from Jersey working. So what are you working on right now? I'm just working on. I just been recording a lot. I'm pretty much just putting out a single a month. Like right. every month I'm dropping a single with a visual. I'm just giving it to them like that. Like I'm not working on no project right now. It's just more like straight singles every month and not really no features either. Just singles with a video and hitting them with that every month. And then just, you know, just getting getting, getting me out there. Like just doing like how I did fire in the booth. Mm -hmm. I'm here now with you chopping it up. I'm just trying to get to everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody who doing something, I'm just trying to tap in with them. Why are you only doing the single a month? It's just it's just cause like that's just what's working right now. Yeah, that's that's just what's working right now. I feel like I'm not at a point yet where I could just release a project. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I don't I wanna I wanna I'm eventually I will, but for right now I feel like the single month is cool. Mm -hmm. And that's working, I'm seeing results. So that's definitely like that's the wave right now. That's right. what I'm running with. Right. Well, I'm excited to see what you do next, bro. Sure, man. I got, I got, I got a lot of stuff coming. Definitely got a lot of stuff coming. So more singles on the way. What else do we have to be on the lookout for this year in twenty twenty? I started um holding my cup tour. Hold my so cup it's tour. it's pretty much I'm invading clubs with my people, and we just we making movies. Yeah, I'm holding my cup tour, man. <laughs> so what it is is pretty much we just going into these clubs, mosh deep, and it's like I'm I'm hosting them. I'm, I'm performing a little bit, but it's less performance, it's more vibes. Okay. So it's just like, I'm bringing out crowds and we going like, whether it's Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Philly, whatever it is, we going in there and we making a movie. That's fire. And it's like, everybody gonna, like, you're gonna have to be a part of this, bro. If you in the club scene, eventually you will have to be a part of this. Like that's, it's gonna be crazy. Word, man. Well, hold my said, cup. Hold my cup tour. Coming to a, a club near you real soon. But I love having you here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Congrats on everything. Shout out Jersey. You know what I'm saying? Jersey always yes, comes sir. up, shows up, never disappoints. Um, before we get out of here, anything else you want? Let the people know where they can follow you at, all that good stuff. Hit them right here, this camera. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Spotify. Everything is at iThump. iThump, not it hump. iThump, <laughs> I-T-H-U-M-P. That's what we're doing. 31, I'm in the building. Shout out my boy Gabe. Shout out on the radar. Let's get it, bro. Jersey. There you go. Well, make sure you go follow him. Go run up that freestyle out now. Go show us some love. Go show us some support. Love is free. Support is free. But y'all already knew that. Till next time, thump in the building. Jersey in the building. We out on the radar. Bah, my guy. Perfect.